Tim in here. Today I'm just gonna show you guys tips and tricks how to sharpen a knife and things I've learned throughout my years of culinary. Today I brought three knives. First one is a gladiator chef knife, a seven inch gladiator chef knife. And then I brought in an eight inch Valhalla series chef knife and a 9.5 inch chef knife from Shogun series. This is how sharp it is out of the box. And we're gonna dull them again just to show the difference and now we're going to proceed dulling our knife. This is uh, chef's uh, worst nightmare. So right now I'm grinding the chef knife against the scissors to dull the knife. Yeah, it's quite dull. Yeah, it's not as smooth as before. Yeah. So as you can see, the knife is actually ripping the paper, not cutting the paper. So first, I have uh, two stones here. Actually, I have three stones here. I've got a 400 grit, and here I have 1,000 grit and a 6,000 grit. So the 4,000 grit is more for slowly, like what I've been taught is the lower the number, is something you want to use to repair your knife. And then slowly when you progress a little higher, you're basically sharpening, you're basically polishing the edge of the knife. So first we're gonna use a 400, then you're gonna use a 1000, and then if we flip it, you got 6000. And I've been soaking this uh, these stones for about 15 to 20 minutes, just to get them a little wet, a little active. Make sure your stone is nice and secure. This is for uh, safety purposes. You don't want the knife to slip and you don't want your stone to slip. And then you kind of want your knife, if you're right-handed, hold your knife and you wanna tilt your knife to 45 degree angle and then you lift it. The angle you're looking at, you're basically mm -hmm. looking for 17 to 20 degrees angle. And what you're doing is you're basically grinding the edge on the stone. It basically went back and forth. And I'm using two fingers and just putting pressure down. So what you're looking for is basically, what I've been taught is that you kind of want to feel, have your finger, have your two fingers feel your blade and the stone grinding against each other. So what I like to do is usually I would do 12 stroke one side and then 12 another. And then after the 12, you flip it to eight. And after eight, you do six, six, then four, like that. And then once you're done, you move from the 400 to the 1000. If your stone feel a little dry, don't be afraid to add some water to it. Um, it really depends on what type of stone you use. If you use a ceramic stone, you don't really need too much water, but this is a wet stone, so you're gonna have to soak it. It needs a lot of water. Okay. Now we're gonna do 1,000 grit. Remember to choose an angle and stay consistent. Now let's try. Let's polish it with 6,000 grit. Remember to make sure the stone is secure and won't move around. Yeah, awesome, that's it. Okay, first night. Ooh, that's smooth. That was wrong. 